Antarctica is known as being one of the last places on Earth that humans discovered. Despite the discovery of this landmass, we don't really know much about it. The environment is hostile and not easy to get to. When here, you have to deal with the harsh conditions. The temperature close to the coast of Antarctica are close to freezing in the summer months. During the winter, however, temperatures can be between minus 10 and minus 30. When you reach higher elevation though, temperatures struggle to get above minus 20, and it has been known to fall below minus 60 degrees in winter. Vostok Station holds the record for the lowest ever temperature recorded at the surface of the Earth. It was minus 89.2 degrees. Regardless of your views on global warming, it's no secret that Antarctic glaciers have been melting at a fast pace. This isn't just a theory either. Over the past 50 years, we have seen an increase in warmer waters, and this has had an effect on the ice caps. Photographs have been presented which shows how much of the ice has vanished. Researchers have said that between 1979 and 1989, the Antarctic lost over 40 billion tons of melting ice. Incredibly, this number has increased since then. Scientists have said that this number has gone up to 250 billion tons per year. This study was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Researchers have come forward and said that it takes 350 billion tons of ice to rise the global sea level by one millimeter. Many of these scientists don't want to worry people, but it's also important to understand what is happening in these regions. The oceans cover 71% of the Earth's surface and contain 97% of the Earth's water. It's believed that around 2-3% is contained in glaciers and ice caps. According to the US Environmental Protection Agency, the sea level has risen 6 to 8 inches or 15 to 20 centimeters in the last 100 years. So in another 1000 years it could rise by over 60 inches or 152 centimeters. This would have a massive effect on the world. Many coastal cities and towns would be underwater. In the last few years, flooding has become a major problem all around the world. One of the places being hit the most are some of the areas of the United States. According to NOAA, it's projected that high flooding around the American coastlines this year will surpass typical levels of flooding by around 60%. This has scientists worried as it wasn't thought it was going to be this high. Within the next 30 years, it's been estimated that around 300,000 homes in the country, with a combined value of 117.5 billion, are likely to be at risk of chronic flooding. So what do you guys think should be done about this? Or do you think it's too late? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.